Hi, I'm Dr. Nathan Shapiro from Boston, Massachusetts. I work at Beth Israel Dignas Medical Center, and today we talked about sepsis and early resusc sepsis resuscitation in the emergency department. To start off, we just went over the importance of identifying patients early and treating them aggressively, and the fact that sepsis, while patients might not be per se dying in front of you, such as a trauma patient or a major heart attack, et cetera, we still need to take the same kind of care and early identification and early treatment with these patients. And we need to perform those things in really a time-dependent manner. We went over the history of sepsis and sepsis resuscitation, which really, it, it pre um, the year 2000, so in the 80s, 90s, I think that we could say as a community, we didn't recognize necessarily the need to really aggressively identify the patients and treat them early. If we think about the history of um, goal-directed therapy, which really came about in 2003, it predates that. It's in the early 90s with um, Schumacher and Boyd where they first identified patients and gave them supernormal oxygen delivery. And then for a period of time, we were just flooding patients with oxygen. After that, Gatinoni and Hayes came along and said, gee, hmm, maybe in their validation trials, they showed that those initial efforts might not have been as effective as one would hope. And I think that Schumacher really did a nice job in taking a step back and doing a meta-analysis and showing that the difference was the trials of supernormal oxygen delivery where you got to the goals early, that was what was important. And the later trials, like the validation trials where you got to them late, that's where we didn't see the mortality benefit. And that's really the place in history for um, Dr. Rivers in the gold directed therapy trial where he showed us that early and, um, early and aggressive identification and a treatment with titrated physiologic endpoints, really um, that is perhaps where the mortality benefit is. And that really kicked off an era where we went about identifying patients early and aggressively and started to think about ways to mobilize our treatment strategies. However, more recently, the PROCESS trial, which is one of three validation trials um, that we'll be seeing within the next year or so, PROCESS trial showed us that we didn't see a mortality benefit from that approach. So one may think that you're kind of going back to square one, but that being said, if you look at the control arm or the usual care arm of the process trial, really there was a very aggressive resuscitation there as well. So while the trial did its job in um, the fact that there was increasing titration of resuscitation with structure, um, there was still in the usual care group early identification and also aggressive resuscitation, early antibiotics, and the other processes of care were really quite strong as well. So at the end of the day, where are we at? We're at the, the agreement that early and aggressive resuscitation is important. We agree that we can't go back to the ways of past, but now we have to look forward towards um, new modalities to improve the care for our patients. And that's really, I think, about where we're at. And for more details and, and further explanations, please take a look at my talk. Thank you.